respect and acceptance. Those are just some of the words painted outside El Dorado High School in Placerville. But this 16-year-old who wants to be identified as SL says her experience as a student here was anything but welcoming. They pulled my jacket, my hair, they put me in a chokehold. Her mom, Ashley Lewis, says this is just one of the many instances of racism and discrimination her daughter has endured at the hands of students over the last several years. And they told her if you see the bullies to run, scream for help or find an adult. That was their solution. Not to deal with the bullies, but to re further victimize my child into telling her when you see him just one. Lewis says employees of the district failed to protect her daughter despite various warnings about the abuse on and off campus. She's been followed home from the bus stop by their 30 year old brother called the N word the whole way home to where I had to buy her mace. Lewis filed a federal civil rights lawsuit last month alleging her daughter was brutally and repeatedly attacked, beaten and harassed based on her sexual orientation and African-American race. In a statement to KCRA, the El Dorado Union High School District responded in part saying, quote, these allegations are untrue. It goes on to say the El Dorado Union High School District is committed to providing equal opportunities for all individuals. The teen now hopes the school district is held accountable. It's not just all about me. It's about all the other kids that go here and tell me the things that they go through. Andrea Flores, KCRA 3 News.